Steph, thank you so much for coming on and making some time for us at Sportshed TV. Hey guys, it's uh, good to be here. Steph, you recently played in the Oz Open. We just want to ask about that moment on day three, the 18th hole. What happened? Yeah, so at Aussie Open, everyone was chanting around the 18th green to throw the golf ball. For me, to throw my golf ball. But I'm a little bit uncoordinated <laughs> with my throwing and I was kind of scared I wasn't going to like throw it far enough and then I'd have to chase it and then I'd just be more embarrassed. So that was just... I went red and I, my heart started racing when, because they were chanting from like everywhere as well. It was just, it was very scary. So I kind of waited till I walked to like a closer stand and just like did a little underarm throw and they caught it, thank God. But yeah, I was very, very nervous. You turned pro a year and a half ago and you're already in the top 100. You must be so proud of yourself and everything that you've achieved with golf so far. Yeah, I've done some good things in my career so far. Um, hopefully it's just the beginning. I've set some goals for next year or, you know, the future. So it'll be nice and interesting to see how that goes. Steph, you're always travelling around the world for golf. What do you miss most about home? Travelling is definitely fun. But, yeah, there's some things I miss about home. I think because I was in America this year, the thing I miss most about home is coffee and the beach. I mean... America doesn't have very good coffee at all. It's kind of, it's like you have to find a hidden gem to like get a good coffee. Whereas in Oz, you know, you walk down to the corner cafe and it's a, at worst an eight out of 10, but yeah, probably the coffee, um, the beaches as well. Just being able to go for like an Arvo dip or something, you know, all those little things. I miss my family too, but, <laughs> but yes, coffee is tough. Golf isn't the most popular sport amongst young Australians. What made you get into it? Yeah, so growing up, golf was not a popular sport, especially for, for girls. So it was hard, but dad started taking my sister and I to the range when we were about three and four. And then, you know, he always just kind of took us back. And then, yeah, we went from there, started playing junior events, amateur events, all that stuff. And... Here I am today. <laughs> Steph, what's one thing you live by that has shaped you in being who you are today? I think, I don't really have a quote that I live by, I guess, but as I've, I've noticed in the last few years that sometimes people will define you on how good you are at your sport. But I, I don't know, I, can't, I want to be remembered for being a nice person, as simple and as basic as that sounds. Just, you know, as well as a good golfer, I'd like to be known as a nice, friendly person. <laughs> Steph, you've got a lot of young fans who look up to you. What advice would you like to give them so that they can follow your footsteps? Um, I think it takes quite a bit of hard work and dedication, but I mean, just being able to love the sport that you do is the first step because, you know, if you don't enjoy it, there's really no point in doing it. So, yeah, I think just being able to fall in love with the journey and the challenges that you're going to face and then... Yeah, then you just kind of learn how to dodge those obstacles. Thanks for coming on, Steph. We can't wait to see you progress. Thanks for having me on.